Hello Taurus, welcome to a love reading all about what your person is currently thinking or feeling about you, the person that you're thinking about or connecting with at this time. How do they view you or this connection? What are their intentions towards you? And what do they wish they could tell you at this time? Spirits, angels, guides, messages, guidance, please, for Taurus regarding love. What does Taurus need to know regarding love and relationships? Well, I don't like that energy right up right there that I see when I shuffle the deck for Taurus spirit. What does Taurus need to know? Okay, let's see what we get for you, Taurus. In what you can expect, we have the Three of Cups and the Fool Reverse. Okay. Well, the full reverse could be a card about hesitation, recklessness, you know, excessive risk, a delayed new beginning. I think this has something to do with possibly a delay regarding a new beginning because of another person. We'll see if that's true. Uh, past influences or influences on the current energy. We have the death card and the magician reverse Scorpio energy there with the death card. So there was some sort of ending or change that you experienced in the recent past or that is affecting the current energy or what you can expect um whatever's happening it's because of whatever ended here something was not able to happen or stopped i heard stopped so i don't know we'll see what that's about when i clarify already you have three major arcanas so this is very interesting what are you thinking and feeling what are your energies eight of wands Eight of Cups. Wow. So you're making some sort of move, Taurus. Or this is what you're thinking about. Maybe you're planning to move forward somewhere or make some sort of move in your life. This could be career related. This could be moving out of a home, moving to a new place. This could also be moving into a new cycle as well. Okay. What about the other person? This could be whoever you've been dealing with in the past, in the present, or in the future. Two of Swords. And the Nine of Swords Reverse. Okay. So typically the Nine of Swords Reverse could be a card about overcoming anxiety, overcoming a stressful situation or stressful thoughts. But um, sometimes that card can mean a mental breakdown as well. Um, this person, I feel like they, whoever you are dealing with is stuck mentally. Okay. We'll clarify that later on in the reading what do you need to know that you don't know any hidden factors knight of swords temperance reverse sagittarius energy so there's something coming in um, in the form of a message information and i don't think you're going to see it coming because the knight of swords is very sudden very quick um, and this is in the position of what you don't know or what you don't see Okay, and where is all of this headed in the near future? Three of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, Reverse. Okay, so we've, we're getting a lot of like opposite energies or opposing energies. It's not in the cards, but I feel it. Like I feel a tug of war. So, and I see it here specifically. And I kind of felt it here with the Death card and the Magician Reverse. And with the full reverse, it's almost like I'm, I'm feeling like a, like the brakes have been put on something or it's been flipped on its head. Three of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, Reverse. These are direct opposites. Uh, the Three of Pentacles is all about teamwork, working together. And then the Eight of Pentacles Reverse is someone that can't work, can't put in effort or puts in bad work, bad effort. The full reverse, Eight of Wands or the full reverse, Eight of Cups, opposite energies. The full reverse is kind of like a beginning is not happening for whatever reason. But the Eight of Cups is like someone's walking away into a new beginning. You see what I'm saying? We'll see if that comes up again in the um, clarifiers. Okay, so why is all of this happening? What's the root, the foundation at the bottom of the deck? Two of Pentacles. So some sort of uh, juggling, weighing of options, trying to decide, um, doing a lot at once. We'll see. Two of Swords, Two of Pentacles. Um, this could be your person's energy um, that's kind of influencing or causing all of this to happen. We'll see. Let's see. 
Let's get some clarifiers out here. Spirit, help me clarify these energies for Taurus. Help me clarify these energies for Taurus. And Taurus, if you want to know what decks I use, the decks that I've designed that I always use on my uh, readings, the rings that I wear, all that information is in the description box. What is happening here? Seven of Swords, Five of Cups. Hmm. My deck is reversed too, so let me see. Okay. All right, let's see what we get here with the Two of Pentacles. Why is all of this happening? The Two of Pentacles. Tell me about the Two of Pentacles. Why is the Two of Pentacles reversed? Why is the Two of Pentacles reversed? Four of Swords. Okay. Someone's thinking a lot, resting, reflecting, healing, but not, there's no action with the Four of Swords. So I feel like someone is not doing something because they're still weighing their options. What else with the Two of Pentacles? What else do we need to know for the Two of Pentacles? Nine of Wands. Yeah, it's like someone's standing guard. They've been affected by whatever situation has gone on with the Nine of Wands. Because this is someone that's been through war. The wounded soldier. Someone that's been hurt. And because they've been hurt and they've been through a lot. Now they're very into like protection mode. Defense mode. Paranoid mode, right? Like who's coming who am I going to have to deal with now? I don't trust anybody, blah, blah, blah. So I think this is this is kind of all working together, the Four of Swords and the Nine of Wands, to keep someone from making a real decision. I feel like there's a lot that they're thinking about. Yeah, the Ten of Wands is at the bottom of the deck here. So Taurus, this could be you. This could be the other person that you have, are, or will be dealing with. Um, but I feel like what why there's not, you know, there's like this... Um, breaks energy that I've been picking up on where there's not a lot happening where there's like a stuck energy like like something that's supposed to start but isn't I feel it's because this decision hasn't been made or this decision is still being thought about with the two of pentacles what's this page of cups knight of cups at the bottom of the deck oh so I got a message about someone that might be swayed by their emotions or their emotions are being affected. So, okay, before I get into that, let me get one more for the Two of Pentacles. What can you tell me about the Two of Pentacles? What can you tell me about the Two of Pentacles for Taurus? What can you tell me? Four of Wands. Another four. Fours are all about like stability endurance you know manifestation this could be related to home something to do with the home um interesting whatever happened that was difficult happened in your home life taurus if nothing happened yeah seven of swords at the bottom of the deck if nothing happened at home for you in november or any of the months leading up to november this probably isn't your reading this could also be what's happening for the other person too. Something happened in their home. Flip it as a resonance for you, but something happened in someone's home that affected them a lot and they're still thinking about what to do and probably still reeling from what happened here with the Seven of Swords. Like, you know, they're just get, you know, getting it together, trying to get it together now. I feel like this is someone that's been going back and forth, back and forth about what to do. Um, but it's hard to make a decision because they're still dealing with the aftermath. Tell me more about this Two of Wands. I want one more, please. Tell me more about this Two of... No, I'm not Two of Wands. Two of Pentacles. Tell me about the Two of Pentacles. What's this Two of Pentacles about? Six of Pentacles. Yeah. Someone's doing a lot of thinking because I feel whatever this decision is about with the two of pentacles, I'm picturing a seesaw. It could go either way. I feel like you're going to have to give something up, Taurus, or whoever is making this decision. There's a back and forth because there's something that's got to give 
that's kind of what I'm picking up here. Like it's not just um, a decision without re repercussions or consequences. Someone's worried about the future. Yeah, Nine of Swords, Seven of Wands. I mean, Seven of Pentacles. What's what's going on with me? I can't like read the card. Two of Cups. This is probably regarding a partnership. Um, there's something important here with balance because Justice came out. The Six of Pentacles is out here. Libra energy. But someone's mo mo more than anything, someone's worried about the future and it's regarding a connection. Okay, so let's see what happened over here in the what you can expect. Well, first I want to know why is the full reverse? Why is the full reverse? Why is the full reverse for Taurus? King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Why is the full reverse? Why is the full reverse? Knight of Wands. Okay. The lovers are the bottom of the deck. Gemini energy. So these are opposites to me. King of Pentacles, Knight of Wands. Complete opposite energies. These two would do things completely different. Once again, the seesaw that I'm picking up on. Something is in starting because someone doesn't know how to start it. Should I be a King of Pentacles? Slow. Risk adverse. Methodical. Practical. Grounded. Or should I just go for it? Guns blazing. Without thinking too much about it. Action comes first. Not so much thinking about it. Should I just passionately go towards what I know is for me? Or should I be more careful? I feel like someone's really debating. Yeah, there's the hermit. Virgo energy. Someone's thinking hard about their next steps. I still don't know what this is about. I have a feeling it's about a departure though. Because you have the Eight of Cups, the Death card is here, which tells me something has ended or shifted. It's not going to be the same, right? Tell me about the full reverse. Tell me about the full reverse. Knight of Cups. Once again, I feel like there's, yeah, and the Five of Swords at the bottom of the deck. It's almost like emotions are, I don't know, someone could be apologizing for what happened, you know? with a, a Knight of Cups and Five of Swords, and maybe that apology makes the other person question themselves. Well, maybe this could be fixed. Well, maybe this isn't the end, you know? The Emperor and the Tower. Wow, Aries energy. Wow, the Tower, Justice, and the Emperor. I feel like this is someone trying to regain control over the situation with this apology or expression of, like, feelings. So what's with the Three of Cups? Why is the Three of Cups here for Taurus. Why is the Three of Cups here? The Lovers, again, Gemini energy. Why is the Three of Cups here? There's a lot of major arcanas on your, well, I guess there's not like a ton, but around this area here, I feel like there's a lot. Tell me about the Three of Cups. King of Swords. There's that Eight of Wands. And Four of Cups, Three of Swords. Okay, so with the King of Swords and the Lovers, you could be dealing with an air sign here. I think there's either somebody that wants to meet up with you, Taurus, to talk about what happened between you, Eight of Wands. But I don't think you're interested, Four of Cups, Three of Swords. I think you're just too hurt. Um, I don't, I, I, it's, it's almost like, I don't know. This is, this doesn't seem like your energy, Taurus. It's almost like, You've had to change. Can I get one more for the Three of Cups? There could also be other people involved that talk about this or, um, you know, this could be family, friends, people that surround your connection that could be, um, you know, talking about things and it's just making things worse possibly. Tell me about the Three of Cups. Why is the Three of Cups here? Yeah, this is this is communication and it's about what happened. Five of Cups, death. Yeah, this is what... Someone wants to talk about what happened with you, Scorpio energy. But for some reason, I feel like a lot of you guys, you're focused on something else now. Yeah, the Magician, the Empress, Ace of Pentacles. Exactly. It's like you don't really want to talk about what happened because... I don't know. Maybe what happened was the final straw for you. Let's see what happened here. Tell me about death and the Magician reverse. Tell me about death. And the Magician Reverse. Why is Death here with the Magician Reverse? 
Six of Wands. Tell me about Death and the Magician Reverse. Tell me about Death and the Magician Reverse. This is kind of what's influencing what's happening. Yeah. Seven of Wands. Tell me about Death and the Magician Reverse. Tell me about Death and the Magician Reverse. The Chariot. Yeah. Another card about moving forward. Cancer Energy. There's the Emperor again. Aries Energy. Five of Pentacles. Five of Wands. Yeah. Something happened between you and another person. If you're sitting there and nothing has happened in your connection, Taurus, if you're happily married, happily in love, no issues. Thanks for watching. This isn't your reading. <laughs> it just isn't because whatever, who, for the Taurus that I'm, Taurians, Taurus that I'm reading today, something happened that caused friction in your connection to the point where there was maybe even a physical fight or a fight, a verbal fight. Like something, something exploded, okay? And we have the Five of Pentacles, Five of Wands. I feel like multiple people could have been involved here with the Five of Wands. I feel like someone's playing damage control or trying to do damage control here with the Emperor. But I feel like someone's just ready to leave the Chariot. And I think this is you. You have the Eight of Cups. I think this person, whoever this Emperor is, could be... Um, I don't want to say manip manipulating you, but uh, they know just what to say to make you question yourself. Okay, so let's see what's going on between you and this person. Can we get some insight, please? Between the energies or some insight on the energies between Taurus and this person. I can't talk today. I, I really don't know what's going on for Taurus. What are the energies between Taurus and this other person? Tell me about... Okay. I was going to say, tell me about Taurus. Hidden feelings, paralyzing fear, inner voice. Yeah, Taurus, there's something you don't know and it scares you. There's something that you're not completely sure about and it's scary. Um, I think that a lot of you... I mean, there's two messages here. What's at the bottom of the deck? Looking inward. Okay, yeah, this is you reflecting. You're doing some soul searching or you have been doing soul searching. Your intuition has probably guided you here or um, alerted you to something. I see the other message I was talking about was I feel like someone probably hid something from you and was scared that you were going to find out. But your intuition helped you there. You found out. Okay. Tell me about the person that Taurus is, has, or will be dealing with. What do we need to know about this other person? What do we need to know about this other person? Secret admirer. True love. What's this? Happy ending. I just felt like picking some more. Tied up at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like this is someone that has... Yeah, they have a secret. They have a secret. I'm not picking up secret admirer here. It's almost like this secret interrupted something really good. True love. Happy ending. This could also be somebody completely new that has interest in you, but can't do anything about it. Tied up. Tied up, two of swords. Some of you, I feel like I'm reading for two different types of Taurus. We'll see what happens when I clarify what we get, I mean. Okay, let's look at this Eight of Wands. I feel like something comes in for you, Taurus. So this could be communication, or this could be some sort of action that you are taking. What's this Eight of Wands about? What you can expect is some sort of conversation or communicate um, information with the Ace of Swords. That's coming up here. However, I feel like for a lot of you, this is from another person possibly apologizing. Uh, Ace of Swords, Knight of Cups. Tell me about the Eight of Wands. Why is the Eight of Wands here for Taurus? The Hermit, Virgo Energy. <laughs> 